Sa osnivačem avangardne pozorišne trupe Bazi, Atilom Pesijanijem, razgovarao je Nihat Kreševljaković. It's not level. So, because, because it's not, we didn't imagine this as, the, as the some typical interview. Yeah. So it, it should be some kind of talks okay. between... They can hit each let, other. Let's say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> two friends. <laughs> But let's start. It's the first time you're in Sarajevo. Yeah. And it's the first time that we have Iranian theater on the, on the Sarajevo Theater Festival. I, I think so. When I came to your lovely city, uh, it seems to me that I have been there before. I remember one uh, Hungarian director who was on Mass Festival maybe four years ago. I remember Laszlo Hudi. He was telling me the story when he was in Iran. Mm -hmm. And he was this, uh, telling me about the different different reactions of the people to to to, to same situations, let's say. Mm -hmm. And I remember he said that he was on some like kind of the like uh, it was let's say kind of theater in some Iranian village. And he 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 was telling about the scene. There was some like uh, I don't know what was the story, but in one moment the guy he approached with the sword to the actor. He just did something like this. He was he had uh, something like a. Uh, some kind of, uh, he was like this and he had a head here. He touched him here, that head fell down. Another guy came with the, with, the, with, the, with the blood and he put that blood on him. And he said it was like a cheesy scene, but he turned to the audience and he saw that everybody's crying. So he was telling me how the people, how people, uh, uh, how they accept the, 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 the language of theater in the, in the, in the different way. Uh, first of all, I must say that uh, Hungarian the, uh, directors saw a uh, very t uh, important traditional theater in Iran that we call it Tazie. It's not really theater, but uh, religious uh, performance, something like uh, Miracle Myster Mystery yeah. or something like this in uh, the Europe. Everyone knows the story when they are watching it and they are sitting or standing around, but they uh, or believe that this is not a story, this is not a performance, this is not a theater, and only happening what happened before. Yeah. So it's very real for them. The audience can see many things that uh, he, he is going under uh, his, shirt, his, yeah. his shirt and then oh. with blood, but the audience believe it and they are crying. They are watching, sometimes they understand something, sometimes they don't understand, but uh, they are trying to know what is happening. Uh, in some case, like uh, my performance, it's very difficult because uh, the Iranian audience want, wants to uh, hear more than seeing. Because this is a, tra uh, a tradition in Iran that uh, they always tell stories. Uh, and telling stories coming to theater. So the, uh, the audience, Iranian audience, wants to hear the theater. Yeah. In a performance like me, that, uh, like ours, that uh, it's without dialogue, it's very difficult to have this connection. But the new generation in Iran completely different. I think they like it. For me, for <coughs> me, for example, it's interesting. Another story is the story of the duck, mm -hmm. which is very important in the are there different reactions of ducks in different countries where you perform? They have v very, very interesting uh, stories. Uh, <coughs> and they're uh, Almost they the are the, the position of the country. Uh, for example, when we uh, performed in Tokyo in Japan, the duck was like this. In Italy, in Bologna. When, when people go to theater and if they see it's Iranian show, they, they, they have different expectations. Usually when they people, uh, by my experience, when they go to watch some let's say like Asian, Asian theater, they always expect something more folkloristic or something like that. Yeah. It's, uh, is, is this unusual also for Iran or, or, or it, 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 more it or is, less. yeah. And how it goes doing like something which could be described as, let's say, experimental theater, yeah. 
The situation of experimental theater is uh, very young in Iran because uh, we had before experimental theater, before revolution. And after the revolution, uh, the, the text and uh, the performance is going uh, to, uh, how I can say, going to show the revolution, the um, enemies, uh, the, the friends, and very straight political things. Yeah. And uh, in this uh, case, uh, experimental theater uh, was a little forgotten. And after a while, me and um, some others, very few, uh, began to uh, began to uh, pull pull out the experimental theater from the soil, from the grave, and uh, we breathed it, <laughs> and it uh, all, uh, again alive in Iran. And now we have uh, some youth companies, uh, some young. Uh, groups that they are really great in experimental theater and I love them. And uh, one of my mm, hobbies in uh, Iranian theater is finding these people. I mean, because I'm also interested in Islamic art and, and okay, we can talk about the art, but if we talk about the Islamic art, how much it could be described as Islamic art too? Mm, this one? Mm. Uh, what Islam says? Islam says that uh, there is some kindness uh, between uh, the people can uh, can change the world to heaven. What What is the reason and uh, how it happened to have such young people involved in art? Uh, many things. Uh, I think this uh, new generation are very... Uh, talent and in intelligence and uh, mm, they can find uh, their ways in in many different ways uh, one of them is art and art is very important uh, for uh, the new generation is in iran because uh, it's a new language for them we are both very tired huh I retired after the show. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm tired the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for me, that was really interesting experience in being uh, uh, when I watched this show in, in the podcast and also tonight. What was yeah. the difference between these two shows that you saw in Podgorica and here? Duck, of course. <laughs> <laughs>